no Tilly hits is a better say, oh man. Ride around on the shotties and rallies like, oh man. You see it and want it, they go get it like, oh man. You know who's better, fully equipped like, oh man. Well, I be talking down the top of the world, you been like, oh man. Tell me, tell me about that experience, the whole Super Bowl experience, man, especially coming from where you come from, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Man, it was unbelievable, man. The atmosphere of the game was ridiculous. I mean, we came from a situation where we was playing at UD Arena, you know what I'm saying? Dayton Public, we played at UD Arena. It was probably about 1,000, 2,000 people there at the max, man. It was like 90,000 people there screaming loud, crazy, intense, a game that means a lot to a lot of people. Right. This guy who's been in the league 15 years ain't even seen one of these. I was blessed to be in the league two years and get mine. So, you know what I'm saying? It was a great situation. I mean, everybody was there. All the New York celebrities, you know, came out. Right. Show Mad Love, Puff Day was there. Spike Lee was there. Everybody was there. And, man, it was just, man, I, I cherish that moment every day. I got so much stuff on film myself. And I oh, watch it yeah. every day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We might need yeah. to get some of that behind-the-scenes yeah. footage, baby. No Courtesy and they shine. <laughs> you no know question, what I'm saying? No, no question. But they had y'all like yeah. the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the underdogs. Right. You feel me? Against a, uh, uh, damn, the motherfuckers was like, I mean, they was like undefeated. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, what was the pressure? You know what I'm saying? Was there any pressure on y'all? What was the, yeah, you know what I'm saying? The conversation. There was no pressure on us. They 18 and 0. So, all the pressure was on them, nigga. We came in the game like like 14 and 6 or something, you know what I'm saying? So, all the pressure was on them, for real. Right. We just had to come in there, do our thing, execute, which we did. Our defense played tremendous. I mean, shots out to all the boys on the defense, and the offense stuck in there. We ain't make no mistakes, and we end up winning the game, man, for real. All right. the pressure was on them. Right. Major, bro. I just got to say, that shit was lovely, man. Everybody <laughs> I was it. on jump here man. in the city, though. Yeah, I mean, you know I what appreciate saying? that. Shout out to everybody in the city who's showing me love. I see everybody. I appreciate it, man. I, I just thank you. you now, when did you start you know, like, when did you start playing football, Man, bro? I started playing football like 10 years old, man. I played for Dayton Flames and Meadowdale Pee Wee. That's where it started out for me. Okay. I played for both of them, you know what I'm saying? Then, uh, man, it just escalated, man. Middle school, I went to McFarland. High school, I went to Dunbar. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it just escalated to, man, something beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Um, so when did you kind of figure out, like, you know, it's like, when did you know? Like, damn, I might can, I might can do this for real because a lot yeah. of people – well, have been following your career like you right. don't know, but I've been down. You know, it's like we got a mutual friend, the barbershop Rod. Yeah, yeah. And he always used to have like little newspaper clippings. Like, I used yeah. to be like, who is bro? He like, yeah, it's my little bro, man. He's sweet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when did you kind of know or kind of feel like, damn, I can I do this? So. Yeah, I can do this for real. Man, honestly, it had to be like ninth grade, man. Ninth grade, I played a couple of uh, varsity games. You know, that ain't that's real rare for somebody ninth grade to play on varsity. And I played on varsity, man. I was I was killing cats. You know, so I was pretty doing pretty good. So I'm like, man, I probably could do this, man. These cats ain't better than me. I'm just a freshman. So right. what can I do when I'm a senior? So my sophomore year, I did better. My junior year, I got bigger, you know what I'm saying? I grew a couple inches, you know what I'm saying? For people who don't know, I'm like 6'6", 320, you know what I'm saying? Right. So so every year, I just got bigger and bigger, man. And I, I saw myself developing to a good athlete. I had Coach Powell. There was so many coaches there, you know, helping me out, Coach Johnson. They just let me know that, man, I could do this for a living if I put my mind to it, keep my books together, and keep my head on straight. Okay. So give me like 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 what's the day in the life when they shine like you know life, what I'm saying like, like in the pros right now yeah in the pros okay in the pros man the day in life when they shine is early for me I wake up about five thirty six o'clock in the morning um, we work out we lift weights uh, we watch film shoot after that man we go to practice for about two three hours you know what I'm saying we lift weights for two hours watch film for about two hours practice for about two hours. And then after that, man, honestly, I live in New York, man. We shopping for the rest of the day, for real. <laughs> I go shopping, man. I ain't got nothing to do, man. I, I go shopping. I chill. I shop for my little son. Buy him all kinds of little outfits and whatnot. And, man, we we, we, we really party, for real. Okay. There's just so much to do in New York, man. There's so many clubs. So you live in New York, too? Yeah, I mean, I live in East Rutherford, New Jersey. I know you hit okay. that area, man. It's like three minutes from the Lincoln Tunnel, the city. Okay. So I'm right in the mix of everything, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a great situation. All I do, man, we shop, party. And then I, if I'm not shopping with party, I'm paying attention to my uh, my books, you know what I'm saying? Not school books, you know what I'm saying? My job is football, so I'm paying attention to my study, my playbook, and all that stuff. That's what I do. Okay. So now, uh, so what would be the difference? Like, you know, so like you on a level, you know, which is probably the most popular sport in the right. world as far as right. on the football side, one of the biggest events, like you said, the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like, you know what I'm saying? Was it any, you know, so like any pressure on you, like, every day to just, 
you know what I'm saying, to be, like, you got to perform right. up, up here. So, you know what I'm saying, tell me. I mean, it, it's definitely stress, pressure, but the main thing is that you're a competitor. So you want to compete every day. The okay. thing about playing the league, man, everybody on the team are all-stars. You got pro bowlers, all-stars, all-Americans from college. You got everybody who's all-state, all this, all that, whatever. But your job out there is to let them know that you want them next too. Okay. You ain't no bench player. You an all-star too. In college, I was all-American. So, I mean, Yeah, I'm speaking of going, college, not, no, yeah. not what college did you go to? Uh, I went to the University of South Carolina. Gamecocks, you know, shout out to all my boys in South Cat. I'll let your boys. So, I went to the University of South Carolina with them GC boys. We did our thing in the SEC. You know what I'm saying? We we did all right, you know. We had our bumps and bruises, but we did a big – we had Coach Sprayer, Lou Holtz, so we did our thing, you know what I'm saying? We got a couple winning seasons on our belt. Okay. So, now, what was the be like – Okay, now take me back to, okay, now you went to college. Right. About to make the transition. Now, what was that period like? Like, now that you know, was like did right you go there. through all of college? Did you finish college or you yeah, pulled out oh, earlier? Yeah, you know, so, you know, so like, is it like NBA yeah. or do you, can you leave earlier? Well, yeah, football, you, got, you can't <laughs> leave until after your junior year, after your third year of football, you know what I'm saying, your junior year basically. Okay. So um, I, I just went myself to my senior year. I'm always lineman. I can always get stronger. Get better, you know what I'm saying. I ain't, it ain't like basketball, like my man Daquan. Shout out to Daquan. He could he could go after a year or two, you know what I'm saying, if you got the ability to. But in football, you might want to stay, work on your craft, lift weights, you know what I'm saying. You might want to stick into it longer, you know. Right. So, yeah, so, that is rare. So, what you yeah. think about that though? Like, can people go from the high school to the pros in football? Man, I don't honestly, physically, I don't think it's possible. You know what I'm saying? Because you, it's a different kind of game when you're in the league, man. You got cats <laughs> in the league 15 years, who've been lifting weights 15 years. Well, you know what I'm saying, little shakes and protein stuff, man. No, those are some big cats up there, you know what I'm saying? So I would advise people, even if you could do it, I would advise you to go to college, you know what I'm saying, learn that technology, you know what I'm saying, all that good stuff about football. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now, okay, 2008, baby, right. we here. Super Bowl. So now what's, you know, it's like, what's next? You know what I'm saying? Like, what you do next? Man, like, the honestly, season man, coming up? Yeah, the season coming up. So, honestly, what's next for me is, man, I play, but I don't get as much playing time as I want to. So, my main goal for this year is to work hard and get all the good playing time that I want. You know what I'm saying? Because when you play, that's when you get that real money. You feel me? So okay. I want to play more. You know, my goal always every year is to potentially start. You know what I'm saying? I want to start. That's my goal. You know what I'm saying? I always shoot for the stars. You know, I want to start. I want to be... Someday an all-star, Pro Bowl, whatever, whatever. But, you know, okay. that's, that's my goal right now. Hold on, wait a minute. I forgot to rewind back. I forgot to ask you. What okay. was the uh, the uh, the day, like, after college? Right. You're about to go to the pros. The pros. Was you, like, there at draft day? And, like, like how did that, nah. you know, so how did that work? You know See, what I'm uh, football kind of different. I wasn't there at draft day because, man, so many rounds. And basketball is only two rounds. And football is, like, seven rounds of, like, like 40 people or something like that. So, no, nah, I was just at home watching my mom. And my family, I didn't want to make a big deal of it because, you know, I didn't want to get my hopes up. I had things didn't go my way, you know what right. I'm saying? So I just sat down, watched it, you know. I actually went and played basketball the same day, just, you know, hung out with my homeboys for real. Okay. You know, after my name, you know what I'm saying, was called, I was happy to the mug, you know what I'm saying? So then, so how did that work, though? You know what I'm saying? I mean, they, they call you. They, let they you call know. you at the house? Yeah, oh, they call Who you. Who call you? <laughs> uh, the coach from the Giants, Tom Coffin, you know what I'm saying? He called me, let me know my situation. And I was happy. But then the next call was the best call from my agent. Let me know how much money I'm getting. <laughs> right. So that was the best call for real. Okay, okay. You know, this call was good, but that money call was even better. So everything was all good, you know what I'm saying? It was it was a good day. I wish it could have went better. You know, you always want to go, go get drafted high first round. That's when I have real money in. But it was a good day. Don't want to talk about it too much. <laughs> okay. I mean, no, no, no. I want to know how no, much this you is know a TV date and I'm with you. But, you know, some stuff you keep to yourself, you know, because you wish it went better, you know. You don't want to relive no bad situation. <laughs> No, it's all crazy, yeah. bro. I just wanted to know, like, you know what I'm saying, how it actually process worked. And then, yeah, the coach you know, it's called. like your first day there, like, okay, now you okay. got to go there. And right. now you're meeting, you know what I'm saying? So how was, you know what I'm saying, when you get there, yeah. how you got a couple, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, Oh, yeah, I want to say a couple of veterans on your yeah, team, and how's like the relationship with them? Uh, I think your rookie year, the relationship with them is uh, pay your dues. You know what I'm saying? You got to earn your spot, earn your credibility around there. So they kind of mean to you your first year, which is expected. You know, I'm a rookie. They treat you like a rookie. Go watch the clothes, rookie. You know, go go get us something to eat, rookie. So you know, I go do what I got to do. I got to earn. You know, what I'm saying, earn my way, pay my dues or whatever. But my second year was like a total 360. I guess they realized you didn't pay your dues. You didn't been through what you need to go through. So now it's like. All right, you, you part of the team now. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Youngster, you ain't no youngster no more, but you're still a young one to us. You feel me? Okay. So, I mean, our relationship now is great. I'm cool with everybody. You know, you go out to a club with them. You know, if it's their party, they invite you, VIP, whatever, whatever. So, it, it's great right now. Okay. Now, last question. Yeah. 
what advice would you give to the young players out here? You know, it's so like what right advice now. do you give them out here who on the field they trying to you know what I'm saying live mm -hmm. the same dream you live in? Man, to a high schooler right now, the main thing I would tell you right now, youngster, is to get your books together. Get your books together. If your grades are straight and you a great athlete, what's gonna stop a school from coming get you? Nothing. So you know, what you need to do is get your grades together, work hard, and just play good, man. You know what I'm saying? Just have fun, cause this game it's fun, but as you get older, it gets more business like. You know what I'm saying? So you have fun, work hard, get your books together. The school's gonna be knocking at your door. Leave these girls alone, because if you make money, they're gonna be there.